Hey, it's Aaron, and I want to tell you about this drill that I've been using for this project. Um, I just finished these privacy walls, so basically they can seal the utilities. Um, there's some electrical stuff behind here, and then over there is the air conditioning and garbage. So, um, see, it's got a little latch, comes out, made of cedar. It's pretty nice. So, I got to use this drill extensively, and before you react, it's a festival. Um, I know for some people that can be kind of triggering, but let me make a case for it because I thought to myself, $250 is a lot of money for a drill. But the cool thing is you get 30 days to try it out and if you don't like it, they'll even pay for return shipping. So it's like, you know what, let me give it a try. Um, and so I've had it since January and I've really been enjoying it, but this was a build where I really got to put the test. So one of the things you'll notice is it's kind of a weird shape. Um, it's called a C-handle. So what's nice is it's in line with the bit. As you can see here, um, center drills, the T-handle is like this right here. So I think you get a better, more firm and accurate um, drive when you do this. You can use this flat part for storage. Now originally the old battery had this part that stuck in here. That's no longer the case, but I think they just keep um, the storage area right here. It's got a battery and, sorry, a battery indicator and light. It's got a belt clip, which Cool thing is it only weighs two pounds, so it's really easy when you're trying to get up high. My rigid is double the weight, and after a while, it gets to be a lot. Where with this, um, it's easy to drive it. Now, one thing I really enjoyed was this attachment right here. So this is the right angle. So let's say you want to, let's see here, let find a spot. Um, let's say you want to get into a tight space. You can go here and push it up, and there you go. So with the one behind me we had to get to some screws behind there and it was nice because i could just take off the board put it behind there and drive it i didn't have to use this because the air conditioner was in the way so i love the flexibility that comes with this um, their newer model i think has more positions but this is perfect for me this has a quick change for the chuck so you can do the jacobs chuck with the jaws you know um, this one called Central Tech, which is their proprietary format, and then you have this. So, overall, I really enjoyed the CXS. It was something I'd seen in YouTube videos. I wasn't sure what it was or why it was, but now that I've been using it, I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it did take two falls, which made me sad, but, um, you know, it's a work tool. It's for building things, and tools are going to show wear and tear. The nice thing is um, when it dropped, you know, the battery popped off, stuck it back on and good to go. Now, the other thing I love about this is how sensitive this trigger is. So if you can listen to it. Very gradual. Um, with my rigid, that's a bit harder to achieve. And so I love them that there's more finesse with this drill. So if you're doing more delicate pieces, um, you know, we're doing hard, installing hardware in here. That was really great because with the rigid, you could just go real quick and you're like, oh shoot, I um, stripped the screw or something. So I love how this is more delicate for those things. Is it highly, is it high power drill? No. Um, and that's okay. You know, when you're working with cedar, um, other woods, if you pre-drill, it's gonna be a lot easier. So they do make drills that are more powerful, but all around drill, I really like it and I would highly recommend checking this drill out.